Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's kiki, which is, you know, dissecting whether or not Coach Shaw, who is, of course, Jen Shaw's of The Real Housewife of Salt Lake City's husband, if he could be liable to pay that $9 million restitution that she has been ordered to pay back, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. Check out our description box down below and shop our love collection. So with that, you guys, let's dive right on in. So over the weekend, we did a really fun deep dive into dissecting the, the $9 million scam that Jen Shaw has pleaded guilty to. But the big question is, and I will actually link that down below. So if you want to watch the longer version where we do a complete deep dive, we talk about Coach Shaw, you know, his background, their marriage, their kids, what Jen did before the fraud, you know, we break it all down, all the way down. Also why she's the dumbest criminal. We get into it. So I will link that down below if you want a deeper dive into the scam and the schemes. But one big question that people have been asking is, you know, is Coach Shaw liable? You know, is he an Erica Jane Girardi to a Tom Girardi? Is he a Teresa Giudice to, you know, a Joe Giudice? Is he a, you know, Phaedra to Apollo? Although, you know, Phaedra was never charged with anything, but one would think that she probably knew about his crimes, you know. So, but is Coach Shaw liable? That is the question. So this is according to People Magazine, and shout out to Emily D. Baker. She is the expert that they are talking to. And so let's go through the article, and I'll just read it because I want to make sure that I make that I get all of it accurate. You know, I don't want to uh, repeat something that's not accurate. So let's go through the article together to make sure that everything is legally correct, all right? So it says, Jin Shah's husband could be liable to pay nine million restitution, experts say it says, this is their debt. Jin Shah has been married to Shah since 1994. Jin Shah faces up to 30 years in prison, up, up to 30 years in prison time after entering a guilty plea to fraud charges resulting from her controversial telemarketing scheme, but she's not the only one who might be on the hook for her alleged crimes. Her husband, Sharif Shah, could also be liable for up to $9 million in restitution payments. Legal commentator and former LA Deputy District Attorney Emily D. Baker tells People. Baker walked through what is at stake for the longtime couple in an exclusive conversation, including what might happen if the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star, who agreed to forfeit $6 million and pay restitution of $9 million, is unable to pay that money. First, the forfeiture. The forfeiture allows for substituting of assets. So any assets that she owns can be forfeited to the government to cover that $6.5 million in forfeiture, explains Baker. That also depends on how much they took when they did the search warrant because they had the right to grab money, property, things like that. She adds, so the government might already have some money or property of hers. Baker points out that the government had some money from Jen's assistant, Stuart Smith, who also pled guilty for their business crimes. They also said that for some of it, she could be jointly and separately liable with Stuart, depending on the, their situation. So it might be a split, she says. There's a funny sentence in the plea deal that they could be jointly and separately liable together. And that would be very interesting because that would reduce it, Baker continues. But if she can't pay, there's not much she can do. It will always be there and they can garnish any income. If she writes a book, they can garnish that. So after the forfeiture is done, they can go after any income. But Baker, who also runs a popular YouTube channel and podcast, says the income and the government could pursue, quote, what the government could pursue quote, includes marital property. 
Things that are separate to him, no, but anything they share as a married couple, yes. And that can be his income and stuff like that, she explains. Most things are going to be considered marital property. So yes, this is their debt. It's in her name, but he's not going to be able to have marital property that's not a potential to be attached for this situ for restitution. Even if Jen and Sharif were to divorce, Baker says it wouldn't matter. Sharif, who is a football coach at the University of Utah, would still be liable because this is now accumulated during the marriage. Jen and Smith were arrested in March. They were accused of defrauding hundreds of people, specifically targeting individuals over the age of 55. They both pleaded not guilty to charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud in connection to, with telemarketing and conspiracy to commit money laundering. But Smith changed his plea in November 2021. He still awaits sentencing. The Bravo star, 48, maintained her innocence until Monday when she appeared at a change of plea hearing and pleaded guilty to fraud. Ms. Shaw is a good woman who crossed a line. She accepts full responsibility for her actions and deeply apologizes to all who have been harmed. Jin's attorney, Priya, Sh Priya Chaudhry, said in a statement to People, uh, Wow. Ms. Shaw is also sorry for disappointing her husband, children, family, friends, and supporters, the lawyer continued. Jen pled guilty because she wants to pay her debt to society and put this ordeal behind her and her family. Jen has been married to Sharif since 1994. The longtime pair shared two sons, Sharif Shaw Jr. and Omar. The Real Housewife of Salt Lake City, City star is expected to be sentenced on November 28th, as we now know, this has been pushed to December. So she's going to be sentenced, sentenced next month, okay? She faces up to 30 years in prison and has agreed not to appeal if she is sentenced to 164 months prison or fewer, equivalent of up to 14 years. So what now we know with the plea deal, she can, she's facing 11 to 14 years in prison. She has that $9 million restitution and the $6.5 million in forfeiture of money and assets and property. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you think it's right that Sharif could be on the hook for that $9 million restitution? I mean, I could, I can go both ways on it, you know. Uh, it's my opinion that he knew as I just kind of default to that, like, you you know, you know what your husband is doing. You know what your wife is doing. Like, you know what the deal is. Right. And also he benefited from it. So I don't know if. And they and they're married and they've still been married. And like Emily Baker said, it is marital property and it's a collective debt. And unfortunately for Sharif, I mean, he can't have plausible deniability. He can't say he didn't know because of a couple of things. Like we said in the deep dive, you know, Andy Cohen got him on camera on tape during the season two reunion saying he 100% he understood what Jen Shaw did. And as we exposed in the deep dive, she knew what she was doing was fraud because the company she worked for was doing the same exact thing and they got investigated by the FTC and she was deposed during that investigation and then that company had to pay 29 million dollars you know restitution you know a fine from the FTC so if she knew what she was doing was fraud and if coach Shaw is on tape saying he 100% understood what she was doing that means he 100% understood that what she was doing was fraud so he can't deny that he did not know that what she was doing was fraud. And they're married. So it is what it is. But I want to know what you guys think. You know, do you put Coach Shaw in the category of, you know, Teresa and Erica Jane? Or do you think, no, you know, he didn't know what was going on. You know, it was all her. I don't know. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down in the comment section below. And also... How much time do you think Jen is actually going to get? And 
do you think that she will be able to come back to the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City? Put it down below. And also, are you watching? Do you want her back? What are your thoughts in general? But with that, you guys, before you comment down below, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. Check out our description box down below and shop our love collection. So with that, you guys, I will talk to you later. All right? Love ya. Bye. Welcome to Sugar Pills, a practical guide to self-care, where your host, writer, actor, and producer, Candy Washington, helps you live a more joyful life with a cheeky dash of pop culture news. Be sure to subscribe, leave a five-star review, and join the conversation on Instagram at Washington. Let's go.